Valleys is a low-cost, participatory and sustainable approach to develop inland valleys for rice-based systems in Sub-Saharan Africa. The Smart Valleys approach has been developed by Africa Rice and its national research and development partners in Benin and Togo. The approach allows rice yields to double through improved water control with only limited additional costs for the producers. Le rendement moyen à l'hectare est de 4 tonnes, contre un rendement moyen de 2 tonnes dans le système traditionnel. Compared to traditional approaches, which involve expensive topographic studies and high investment costs to construct elaborate water control infrastructure, smart valleys are low cost and more sustainable because they are developed and constructed by the farmers themselves. The Smart Valleys approach follows a stepwise procedure focusing on design, layout and construction of low-cost water control infrastructure after a careful selection procedure paying attention to both socio-economic and biophysical factors and making extensive use of farmer knowledge. The Smart Valleys approach starts with the identification of inland valley sites with potential use for rice cultivation. This is done by a technical team working with farmers and village chiefs in the field. The team should be composed of members that are trained in the Smart Valleys approach, able to comprehend the social and hydrological setting of the valleys with potential for rice cultivation. Discussions focus on the relative importance of rice compared to other crops the potential to grow and market more rice, the suitability of the valley lowland soils for rice cropping and water flow and availability year-round. Par rapport à la structure du sol, il y a un peu de l'argile, un peu du sable et de l'humain. Donc tu vois, donc c'est riche quand même. A special focus is paid to land tenure issues. Who owns or has a say over the land? Who will benefit or risks losing out from development? What are the perspectives of women in using the valley lowlands after development? This information allows the technical team to construct a dossier that can be discussed by the communities that exploit the valley lowlands and those more downstream the valley that might be affected by the development effort. Le dossier il sort du lot, mais c'est indispensable de retourner vérifier l'information parce que If the site is considered suitable, follow-up meetings are held to get the community's full engagement and getting farmers organized to embark on collective development of the valley lowlands. Once the go signal has been given, land is cleared. Although some valuable trees may be retained. Thereafter, farmers and technicians embark on an extensive exploration of the valley to capture farmers' knowledge and experience in terms of water flow and retention on the soil surface. L'eau qui arrive là s'étale sur tous les champs. Donc il faut prendre ça en compte dans l'élaboration. With these insights, a plan to develop the valley lowlands is drawn and subsequently reviewed and amended by the farmers. Such a design outlines the water intakes, canals and buns to enable greatly improved water retention in the valley lowlands and drainage of excess water from the valley. Actual development of the land starts by materializing the key features of the plan using stakes painted in different colors. Red for buns contouring the management site and blue for major canals. Green is used for secondary buns, combined with blue for secondary canals that will allow for more precise water management. Farmers learn the techniques of decoding the plan and transposing it into a stake-studded valley. Thereafter the real work starts, digging canals and moving soil to construct buds. With the colored stakes as a guide, farmers construct the different types of canals, the buns that contour the fields and special features to protect the valley from erosion. 
Donc les paysans, ils ont compris et eux-mêmes, les voyez, sans ma présence, ils sont en train de reproduire ça là-bas. Improvements may also include simple structures to divert water from the natural source and provide irrigation to thirsty rice fields when needed. Finally, fields are leveled and where slopes are too critical, plots are further subdivided in smaller plots with different soil heights to allow for more precise water management. If you have a small plant, you can cut it in two. If you don't want to come back, you can go to the bottom. I'm going to 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 go to the bottom. Experience with the Smart Valleys approach has shown that adequate water control is the essential precondition for farmers to invest in improved rice management practices, such as timely weeding and use of mineral fertilizers. The system even consists d'abord à installer des diguettes. Deuxièmement, il y a les axes de drainage qui permettent de faire entrer l'eau et de faire sortir de l'eau quand nous voulons. Troisièmement, les itinéraires techniques sont suivis jusqu'à la récolte. Even in times of low rainfall, small valleys produce a good rice crop as long as canals are well maintained. Dire qu'à bloc aménagement des millions pour aider à l'effet si la colère et ouais ça va si nous marquer bon. Moi le problème, mais quoi que l'homme est déjà déjà, mais quand les moi le coup des but nothing is perfect, and there is always room for improvement. There are quand même quelques problèmes que j'ai pu constater sur le terrain qu'il faut améliorer pour la campagne à venir. Il y a certains arbres de drainage qui sont trop profonds et peu étroits. With the success of the approach now shown. It is time to develop more smart valleys. This will need hands-on training of trainers, able to analyze the socio-economic and biophysical settings of the inland valleys and judge their potential for development using the smart valleys approach. Such technical teams need to be coached in the field and learn by doing through working with farmers. Only that way will they be able to capture farmers' knowledge and adapt the Smart Valleys approach to any site-specific conditions.